It may not seem it, but we are fast approaching our official look at gameplay of Call of Duty Black Ops 4. April has come and gone surprisingly fast, and now as we approach May, there is a lot of stuff to get ready for with the coming event in just a few weeks' time. Honestly, I think there's gonna be something coming up here in the next couple of days if I were to put a bet on it, but again, that could be totally wrong, and we'll talk about that a little bit further, but officially out of this, we don't know much more today than that of what we know from the official reveal of Black Ops 4 being the title for this upcoming year's Call of Duty, but there is a lot of stuff to keep your eyes out for and to maybe see some confirmation on the horizon, because in an official official capacity we haven't heard anything but from supposed leakers inside sources there's some stuff to talk about that we'll recap here in this video but I also want to let you guys know about a little bit of a theory in terms of the marketing strategies and campaigns we'll be seeing here at this and the timetable of all of that so whether or not we see something coming in the next few days or so we're going to discuss here in this video everything you need to know to get your mind ready for whatever may be coming your way in the upcoming weeks so let's jump right into it let's start off the bat with events now of course right around the corner we do have that May 17th community reveal in what capacity it will be where it'll be how it will be broadcast how it will actually be brought up and what is showcased we really don't know at the very moment but what we do know is that we can pretty much start to expect some things coming in the next few days to start hyping this up because again we are about three weeks out from this event and other than the official reveal trailer we didn't really get anything as of yet we haven't seen anything officially posted we haven't seen anything teasing nothing like that no viral marketing none of that has actually happened at the very moment. But where I think we might be seeing something in the next coming days actually comes from a little bit of stuff that was posted about Call of Duty but not really interacted with Call of Duty's official social. So if you guys follow Call of Duty at all on social media, not necessarily the accounts, but the scene itself, there were a bunch of athletes and higher profile celebrities that got to see a little bit of the game as a sort of marketing campaign to semi-hype up the coming reveal or whatever it may be, but on a much lower scale, on a sort of under the radar type thing. We saw no trailers, no official tweets, and I don't even think, again, the official Call of Duty socials retweeted or interacted with the tweets, but people like Marcus Davenport, Nick Chubb, Austin Allen, Austin Prowell, and Jalen Smith all we're at the same undisclosed location and venue with Black Ops 4 promo material all around the building, all around the rooms they were in, saying that they checked out Black Ops 4 and to be excited for what's to come. Now, in previous years, this usually indicates that the players and the people involved are pre-promoting and we usually see something official following afterwards. The only real time that we don't really see that is when the esports guys in the COD competitive scene say that they've been out to play the game early. That's pretty much just to say that they've played it and they've been looking at the early, early builds of the game because that's usually right after the announcement goes live that sort of stuff is just to pretty much say like hey the competitive community is in tune with the developers here on this one we worked with them a little bit to give our feedback so it's simply for input and what can be improved upon and it really isn't a marketing tactic in that capacity but other than that all these other celebrity promos are pretty much hyping up whatever may be coming this particular instance I think will follow suit with how we saw James Harden scenario with Black Ops 4 if my hunch is correct so this week we see a bunch of blurbs and teasers and next week we'll see something more and something official so if that hunch is right keep your eyes out for say tuesday that might be when we see something dropping but again all just an educated guess with this after the reveal though, well, I think the next time we'll see something shown off after that May 17th reveal is that we'll end up seeing something regarding info or gameplay teasers at E3. That'd be the perfect amount of time for the reveal hype to die down a little bit, then into what is presumably a release window for new COD World War II items, like a new event, new DLC weapons, some new game modes, stuff like that. Then a few weeks after that, that's when we're into early June and E3 is in mid-June this year. And then we'd see further information on Black Ops 4. And my guess is that be a look in at the battle royale mode at that point and then a hands-on demo of some mp and perhaps even a hands-on demo that is playable of the br mode but side note if you guys are following e3 this year you guys are hyped up for it honestly i truly think the br will be the overwhelming theme of this year's e3 so brace yourself if you're not a fan really of the genre that's something that I think will be coming, but again, I digress back to the topic at hand. Additionally, I'd also think that we'd either see some confirmation of a beta then, or might even get it in the May 17th reveal whenever we see that with a community event. I don't know exactly on that one just yet, but one of those two dates I'd expect a beta to be announced with that as well. 
But as for gameplay wise, this is where we're going to start to recap some stuff and then kind of amend some things too, because there's some changes and updates to some of the things that we talked about previously in terms of the gameplay itself, because this is once again where it comes down to leakers, third parties with inside sources and stuff where, again, information can be ousted, it can be confirmed, whatever it may be, but we do have some updates to talk about with this in terms of what we've previously discussed. So firstly, right off the bat, the big thing gameplay wise that everybody really thought was kind of crazy, some people loved it, some people hated it, was that of no campaign being in black. Black Ops 4. Now, unfortunately, right now, this kind of still stands. There's not really much of an update that I've seen talking about this. So the idea that Black Ops 4's campaign is something we'll just have to wait and see until May 17th and the reveal there if we see anything campaign wise or if it's confirmed that we won't get any sort of campaign at all. I think that honestly will be one of the big things that is actually revealed from this event is a little bit of confirmation on if it will or if it will not happen. At the moment, like the other stuff we'll be mentioning from here on out in this video, it is all just speculation and and rumors at this point in time, though there is, of course, third parties that do have that inside information and that do say this. Again, we don't know for certain unless it ends up happening and is officially announced. So we'll probably see that once again tackled at the official reveal. But other than that, gameplay wise, well, it's reported by these once again inside sources that we'll have things like a BR mode coming to Call of Duty. Now, for those of you guys, I know a lot of people were upset about this in the comment section down below whenever we previously talked about it. That's one thing that honestly I understand where it might not be everybody's cup of tea, but the thing that is kind of separating this from the usual 100% go forward version of a BR mode, like completely transforming Call of Duty as we know it, is that this is going to be a separate thing bundled in from what these reports say. So as it stands right now, if these reports and rumors are in fact correct, we'll have a multiplayer, maybe a campaign, and zombies. But on top of that, for presumably another couple extra bucks here and there, you'll actually be able to, like how we saw Modern Warfare Remastered be bundled with Infinite Warfare, get the Call of Duty Battle Royale mode tagged in on top of that. But the thing that again makes this different is that it's not going to be something that is specific for one year like Black Ops 4 would be. Instead, it will be the start of a transition into a service model for Call of Duty, where this Battle Royale mode will transcend whatever game is actually in the life cycle of the Call of Duty franchise in that given point. So for example, we'll have Black Ops 4 and that will be something that the Battle Royale mode is tethered to that. So you'll have the weaponry, you'll have some of the maps, and then you'll be able to play from there. But theoretically, next year if Modern Warfare 4 is released by Infinity Ward, well then the Battle Royale mode would move forward with assets and support for Modern Warfare 4 stuff, but you'd also need to buy the game to get access to that so that you have the ability to use those weapons, those maps, and other things that may be integrated from one space into another. So where we have once again, things every single year as their own separate standalone item, this will sort of once again transcend that and be something moving forward that continues with everything. So it's again a separate entity, but still connected, if that makes sense. The next thing is where we start to really see some changes from what we've previously heard around the Call of Duty social space, that being how the game itself plays. Because while some things still do actually hold true to the initial reports, such things being like there is some variation in how the game itself will play, in the sense that it's kind of like the game Lawbreakers, but in a sense that it's an in-game upgrade that will adjust movements and not anything that is an immediate disadvantage for one player or another. While it might not still be the best, of course, those are still unconfirmed, but other things have since been backpedaled. So a lot of the stuff that may have actually been mentioned, such being any scrapped campaign information, zombies information, the rumor of Blundell leaving, the development process of the game being a complete disaster and similar to Overwatch, those are some of the things that were reported and the main leaker behind this backpedal to say that he filled in some of the information that he did not have himself. Some things just were used to connect the dots or some things that he said without actually confirming with his actual sources. So some of this stuff, again, may actually be true, but some you might be able to completely erase from your memory, which is a good thing because we see that a lot of this actually wasn't that well received from the community itself. But here's where I start to think about this a little bit further, and this is 100% tinfoil hat time and where we get to really take a look into the conspiracy theory behind this. What if this whole forget what you know campaign really is a forget what you know? This is literally all misinformation. Maybe that ties into what may be a campaign. Maybe this might tie into what was, even maybe if it was a scrapped campaign, the idea of it. Misinformation that is used to spread false antics and tactics here. And so everything that we see now, what if it honestly just plays into it? That's something that I think would be very cool where it would be the first time ever that we were fed lies straight up 
and then everything else starts to fall into place after the official reveal. I think that'd be really cool. Maybe that's just me being optimistic and not really liking some of the things that have been spread around there, or maybe not necessarily being as immediately receptive to it. I may very much so like the game when it actually comes out, when we get our first gameplay reveal and everything like that, because if you guys remember, Black Ops 3 had these same issues where everybody was like, why are we getting this? This seems way too out there for what Call of Duty is, and maybe you guys may disagree with it, but a lot of people seem to think that Black Ops 3 is up there on that, maybe not the top three or top five, but in recent years, one of the better Call of Duties. Again, you guys could totally disagree with that, and that's totally fine. I fully respect any opinion you may have on the game, but it was something similar, where people were incredibly skeptical, but in terms of sheer sales and numbers of players, Black Ops 3 has had some of the best in recent years. So it might be the same thing, but I guess we will see, but that is kind of where we're at right now. Again, want to let you guys know really about some of my thoughts here on this scheduling and when we can actually see some stuff, because we are coming up. I would expect some stuff in the next week or two to start hyping this all up, and of course, I want to let you guys know about the kind of backpedaling, because again, that's a big thing. We talked about this previously, we did mention it was unconfirmed and to take it with a grain of salt, but when somebody that is supposedly trusted with the community backs off of their initial reports, it's a little bit interesting and a little bit of a tall task to talk about again. So that said, I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of this? Do you think it's something that we will be seeing a complete turnaround and the official thing literally is that tinfoil hat theory where it's all false information fed to us before the actual reveal, or is it something in which we end up seeing all of these things actually happen and it might turn out to be an interesting year in whatever case? But let me get your thoughts and feedback once again down there in the comment section down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, hopefully you found this insightful. If you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding Black Ops 4 content. And of course, Call of Duty World War 2 stuff, if that is your cup of tea. Also, we'll keep you guys up to date with anything you need to know about Call of Duty updates, tips, tricks, news, information, whatever it is, we got you covered here up on the channel. So if you guys are interested in any of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. If you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected outside of YouTube, practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below and finally if you guys want to follow me over on instagram as well trying to get a little more active over there but that link is also in the description below but all that said now to the way hopefully you guys had a fantastic day thank you all so much for watching my name is espresso take care and peace